we went pretty good considering, you know, not too far off the Olympics. Yeah, yeah, I um, competed well. It was good. I uh, I felt that last 300, I felt a little bit tired. I raced um, decanations on Wednesday, oh, that's right. I saw that. which was totally worth it. I had a lot of fun. Time wasn't too fast, but I closed in 60 something, so that 60.7 or something. So, yo, know, I know my finishing speed is good, and actually today I felt super relaxed um, at the pace. Um, I felt like I did a better job of owning my space. Those girls out there will push you around as easily as you'll let them, so I've been trying to work on that. And um, I think, you know, the last 300, the, the back stretch, I could feel my 12 hours of travel yesterday, but uh, it was really fun to get out there again. I'm, yeah, because Jam Jamal was right with you about 100 to go, and she yeah, ended up winning the thing. She had a great close. Um, uh, she definitely timed it well over that last lap. Um, I was just trying to stay in contention. And um, you know, I lost them a little bit on the back stretch, which also happened at, at the Olympics. So, got trying to work on that, trying to work on not giving up as much ground. And I think I still have some work to do, but it's good to know my weaknesses. And looking back at the Olympics, I mean, sixth place. How do you look at that now? And uh, I mean, still, uh, uh, still hard. <laughs> I mean, I uh, you know, I felt like I was in great shape. Um, I was right near the leaders and you know I lost them a bit on the back stretch and um, I was closing strong but ran out of track so you know that, that, eat, that eat, it eats at me a little bit the fact that two of the girls in front of me have, have faced drug bans already that eats at me a lot too you know if the two of them were in the race I you know, removing them, I'd still only be fourth, but just the fact that they that they get to com compete when the Olympics is all about honest effort is hard. So, Jenny, you got a second? <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I uh, you know I'm just trying to take advantage of my fitness throughout the end of the season and kind of have fun with it. Things have been so tense. Leading I mean, you up think drug ban should be permanent? Personally, yes. I mean, it's. We have to update our whereabouts daily. We have to check everything we put into our body. Um, I mean, at the very least, they should be permanent for Olympics and World Championships. I don't see why someone who's cheated gets a chance to, to compete for a medal um, when that's a life-changing thing. So uh, I feel very strongly about that. Um, not up to me, obviously, but... <laughs> and, and the meet in France, were you already signed up for that before the Olympics? Or? I was, yeah. The, the Deca Nation team is such a fun experience. Um, Coach Simmons and Terry Crawford are the ones that kind of run it, and um, they always do a really nice job of making it a fun thing. Usually it's the, at the very end of the season, but uh, I had to go represent, you know, whenever I can get a chance to represent the U.S., how could I not? So what's next? Um, Lausanne, I'm going to do 3K, which I'm really excited for. Um, it's the first time I've gotten to do, like, 3Ks back-to-back, -back, so maybe I can run a little bit better than Monaco. And, um, and, this, and then Zurich, 1500. All right, well, good luck. Thank, Thank you. you.